Today I will explain you why it is impossible to reproduce the quantum mechanical result using local hidden variables with the Bell test experiment. And I will do so using my Bell test simulation program. We can use different formulas to create a plan that both entangled particles must follow. Then we execute that plan many times using different random angles of meshing. Finally, we observe the result and compare the hidden variable correlation to the quantum mechanical correlation. We have two entangled particles and we measure the spin A at angle A and B at angle B. The correlation, that means the times they are different or the same, depends on the final angle of measurement they make with each other. That is the angle that angle A and angle B make with each other. When angle A and angle B are the same, the final angle is zero and the correlation that is expressed by the cosine, squared cosine of half the angle the correlation we have two entangled particles and we measure the spin A at angle A and B at angle B. The correlation, that means the times they are different or the same, depends on the final angle of measurement they make with each other. That is the angle that angle A and angle B make with each other. When angle A and angle B are the same, the final angle is zero and the correlation that is expressed by the cosine, squared cosine of half the angle, the correlation is then always minus one, meaning A and B always result in opposite values. Because of this, we only need one plan. The plan for detector A is always exactly opposite to the plan for detector B. Furthermore, we can have only one variable, the angle of measurement at the detector. That's the only thing we can change locally. To get an understanding of the results of the application, let's first look at a plan that simply yields a random value for each measurement. After many experiments we see a graph with a correlation of zero at all angles, meaning it's sometimes the same, sometimes different, but never always the same or always different. Now let's take a look at the plan where we use the cosine of half the angle, like in the quantum mechanics formula. With quantum mechanics we apply this formula to the resulting angle. However, with the Bell test this resulting angle is chosen randomly, so we cannot use it in a plan. So we cannot apply it to the resulting angle, but only to a local angle of measurement at A or B. This results in a much weaker correlation than the one that is achieved with quantum mechanics. We can use a modulo operator to create spikes at certain angles. We can even create funny patterns like this one. However, we can never achieve the result that the quantum mechanics experiment yields. We can use this button to let the computer swap 360,000 values just so they resemble the quantum mechanics result as much as possible. This results in a graph like this. 
it turns out that this graph represents this formula it means show a value of 1 at angles smaller than 180 degrees and show a value of 0 for angles larger or equal than 180 degrees and vice versa for the values at B why we cannot obtain the result of quantum mechanics using local hidden variables for that let's take a closer look at the graph at angles around zero over here the graph is almost horizontal meaning that although the angle changes quite a bit the correlation almost doesn't change at all let's assume for example that when the angle changes by one degree only one in thousand values changes from being different in being the same this goes for example for measurements where the angle at A is 0 degrees and the angle at B is 1 degree but also when the angle at A is 4 degrees and the angle at B is 5 degrees both times we have a resulting angle of 1 so if only one in thousand values can change from being the same to zero on one degree difference only two in thousand values can change at angles twice the difference that way you can never go from fully anti-correlated to fully correlated in 180 steps of one degree and this is exactly what John Stuart Bell realized here is another way of looking at it observe the area under the graph this represents an amount of different an amount of the same results the quantum mechanic result is both more the same and more different than the hidden variable result. This is not possible to achieve with a plan that yields either a different or same result every time. The only way to realize the quantum mechanical result is when the value at A sometimes changes when a different angle is picked at B. This happens over long distance and faster than the speed of light. How this is achieved is one of the greatest mysteries of today's science. This includes my explanation. If you want to download this program or the source code, please look at the links in the description. Thank you for watching.